What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and we are back with the CZ P10M. It is clear, both magazines are clear. And the reason we're doing this video is because people have been asking me since I got it, they see that this thing is on sale right now for 300 and lower. So you can get this thing sub 300, probably 300 out the door at your FFL. Unbelievable price, right? So people have been asking me, how do I like it so far? What are my thoughts on it? So I just thought I'd give you a little updated video on my thoughts. This thing is great. <laughs> Honestly, this, the Shield Plus and the other CZ P10 series are the best value in the in, in the market right now. I've been saying that. They're the best value. But this right here for being under 300, this is a great carry option. Now, I know the single stack turns a lot of people off, even though people are ride or die for the Glock 43X, and that's perfectly fine. We should all be ride or die for our everyday carry firearms because those are the things that we put our trust in in our lives, our kids' lives, our families' lives in. So I want you to feel confident. I don't care what you have. If you carry a Sky, I want you to feel confident, but just make sure it's reliable. That's all I ask. Anyways, people are going to say, oh, it's a single stack. Automatically, I don't want it, right? So 7 plus 1 setup right here. It's very small. You can pocket carry this. It does have a rail, so you can literally put a light on there and have a great everyday carry setup. But look right here. This is a 10 plus 1 setup. This is going to be the same exact size as a 43X. It's going to be thinner in the grip, but thicker in the slide. The thicker slide, though, makes for better shootability. That's better weight. That's less muzzle flip. It's just an awesome, awesome setup. The pluses of this thing are definitely the texturing. You don't need any grips on this thing. This thing just feels really good in the hand. The rail is awesome. The um, coating on the slide is unmatched. Whatever they use, CZ kills it with the slide coating. Um, the serrations are very nice. It has an awesome memory pad. I always ask the firearm companies because my Glock 26 clearly doesn't do that, so I had to make my own. You want memory pads. <clears throat> Something that is so fundamental in everyday carry and firearm use is muscle memory. So when your brain is used to feeling this, it's like, okay, my finger's in the right spot. It's off the trigger. And then when your thumb is feeling this, it's like, okay, I have something to fight recoil, and I know that my thumb should be there. It's awesome. I love that CZ put that there. That's great. And it's nice texturing, so it helps you fight recoil a little bit. Um, and like I said, when you get a firearm like this for 300 bucks of CZ quality, you know it's going to be reliable. And if it isn't, that's like a one in a million situation. You know it's going to be reliable. You know it's going to be a smooth shooter. You know it's going to handle recoil really well. But the one thing that they could have done better for most people, I'm not a trigger snob, right? But a lot of people are. The trigger. A lot of people aren't a fan of the trigger. This thing has been cleared, like I said. I love the trigger. Now, I do love the trigger on my P10S more just because I like how it's a flatter face and thinner. But this is honestly a very comfortable trigger. It fits perfectly on your finger. Check it out. Ready? You guys tell me what you think. I think this is the perfect everyday carry trigger. It could be a little lighter, but this is what I ask for something this small that I might pocket carry. Um, I like something a little heavier, but this is probably the most defined break out there. Ready? Watch. And it is so crisp. You hear how crisp that is? So a little bit of take, I mean, that's not terrible, but it's just so clean. And then reset, does travel a little bit, but it's not terrible. And it is a heavier trigger, but it's not, it's so crisp. I'd rather have heavy than like having all this mushy and grit and stuff before it actually breaks, right? So I think this is just a good self-defense trigger. And it is so defined. It That wall is so defined. It is so... You can feel that you need that actual weight and pressure to pull that trigger, but it is so crisp. You're, you don't move the firearm at all. It is just a very good trigger, um, very accurate. I honestly love it, but trigger snobs was going to say, oh, terrible trigger. You got to have a CZ Shadow 2 to have a good trigger. You got to have a SIG, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't need that, guys. I can shoot just fine with it. But a 10 plus 1 setup, like I said, this is thinner than a Glock 43X, so easier to conceal in the frame. Um awesome running firearm the shootability when it comes to snappiness i haven't shot them back to back yet between my 43x and this i know this has less recoil than my springfield army hellcat because i shot those back to back this definitely has less recoil um, but between the 43x i'd say they're pretty similar maybe this has a little bit better recoil control and less muzzle flip but they're both great shooters and honestly i shoot them pretty much the same but for the price glock 43x is going to run you 450 to 550 easily and the 450 models aren't going to have a rail on them. The, um, what do you call it, 550 are going to have a rail and optics ready, which is nice. But once again, this is 300 bucks. So for 300 bucks, you can now buy yourself a light, and you're going to be at the price of the Glock. 
You, you see what I'm saying? So getting that good price on this is going to give open up and free up some money for attachments, mods, new sites, whatever, you know, base plate, whatever you want to do. But I think this is the perfect thing because unlike the 43X, you have the ability to shrink down and throw it in your pocket for deep concealment. And you also have the ability to up your round count to 10 plus 1. So 11 rounds at 9mm. I don't think anyone's going to complain about 10 plus 1 at 9mm. Awesome setup. I love the CZP 10M. Haven't been carrying it as much as I'd like to. I, sh I need to start carrying it, but I don't have a holster for it right now. Um, so I'm waiting on a holster to come in. And once that holster's here, I'll start carrying it. And then I'll give you guys the full review. I know I said I was going to do the full review after putting a lot of rounds through it and carrying it, but my holster hasn't shown up yet. So we're still waiting on that. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome firearm. I'm telling you guys, this is a great deal. It, yes, it's a single stack. Yes, there's double stack micro nines out there, but you got to think of one thing. This is CZ quality, CZ texturing, awesome trigger. It's just a good firearm and it's only $300. See, here's the thing. With a Taurus, a Sky, a High Point, they're selling those at 180 all the way to, you know, $400, right? And you sort of, you're like, okay, I know I'm buying a budget firearm, but nobody thinks of CZ as being a budget firearm company. Yet right now they have CZs on sale for budget firearm prices. So basically you're getting a quality, quality, quality firearm for a budget price. So that is how I justify it. Anyways, CZ P10M, awesome carry option. Awesome. I'm telling you guys, try one at your local range. It may take you a little, you know, one mag to get used to that trigger, but I'm telling you guys that trigger is awesome in the end. Thanks for watching.